Hello and welcome back to the Man Cave. I'm the UP Gamer and today we're going to play some more Calibria Crystal Guardians. I am the UP Gamer and I do want to say thank you for all the subs and likes and in the videos that you guys are doing for me. I really appreciate it. Um, you're really helping out the channel. So go ahead and smash that like button. I really appreciate it. We are going to do some summons. We have a bunch of summons. I did want to just highlight how many fails of summoning a five star we have in a row um, we have 25 summons without a five star and we are almost going to get to 100 in this video um, i did want to also highlight our archives and our archive rewards so i need two more each for eve i need two more each for ashura asura and yeah, well, obviously we're not going to get Hades in this run, but I do have a good amount of summons for you. I have uh, six light and dark, and I have 68 mystical summons. So we are hoping for some new five stars. Anything new would be good, and that is what we are going for. So without any further ado, let's do some summons. We'll start out with, uh, I think we'll do eight, eight single pulls, then we'll do a ten pull and see, see where we get, see what we get to. <laughs> Look at there. Jungle Heart first pull. I can definitely use that just for my, uh, if I want to make an Archmage, basically I, it feels like a cheat to just use the Ar Archmage like, uh. A damage reflector but I think I now have four or five of them and uh, as far as four stars we're looking for mystic swordsman and all the three stars you know we've got all the four stars we've got and the real uh, meat of this party is going to be on the light and dark. We're looking for a new four star or a five star would be awesome. Two shadow wolves in a row. Yeah, I, uh, well, we got something gold. And shield guardian. Yep. Well, we got a four star. That's, that's almost the right blonde boy. Um, I did, uh. Um, Vapor Dreamland again. I'm, I got I got past 85 this time. Finally, that's been a real sticking point for me. I don't know if it's rune quality or if I just don't have the right amount of CC. If I actually, if I got a second Medusa, I would just build her. Uh, sitting in my storage, I have two five stars worth of food and almost three star, three five stars. I'm sorry, six stars worth of food. So. <clears throat> I would build a second Medusa for sure just for Vapor Dreamland without uh, without any thought just to make it would just put Vapor Dreamland on easy mode all right ten pull we got one uh, one out of eight pulls in mystics here we got a four star so let's do a ten pull we're hoping for a five star if we just want anything new we got like Celine we could get. We got uh, Elven Queen. We have, well, let's, let's just go check. What do we need for our rewards? So we need Elven Queen and Celine to get Eve. And then for Ashura, we need uh, Ironheart and Destruction Idol. And I, what I really want is a shaman. For the love of Pete, give me a shaman. <laughs> That's really what I'm hoping for. So, uh, we'll do a 10 pull. I think we'll do on and off 10 pull versus single pulls. So, here we go. If we're looking for any of those units I just mentioned. Give us good luck. Come on now. Well, we got gold. And we got a druid. That's not what we're looking for. All right, we'll go back to single pulls. I think I have enough room, so I should just be able to go right through this. Dwarven Gunner. I have seen people use him in uh, teams for uh, Lair. 
And also, I don't know about C10. Magic Witch. So we're definitely, well, we're right now we're on. On the average. When fighting germs, so we're at 25. We've done about 22. So we should be right around 50. And yeah, let's just go look at the achievement. We're at 47 with no 5 star. So. <coughs> we got gold. Well, we got a bit slurred. not what I wanted at all well we got a five star so we're gonna do a ten pull ah best lord I want I want new blood new beat we only got something loomy I have a ton of loomy all right another one we'll do five more and then we'll do another ten pull ah that a best lord didn't it didn't sit right with me I love my Abyss Lord, but it is not what I'm looking for. I really would love Shaman. And I probably will not get another 5 star for this summoning session. Food, more food, and more food. I mean, that's what you expect, really, but... Hopefully, maybe I can get a new 4-star or 5-star in Light and Dark. That would be nice. And a Holy Paladin. When we get to a 30, we'll do a 10-pull. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? We got gold, something. And an Ogre. Yeah, I guess I can sanctify my... Well, we also got a swordsman with that. I have plenty of swordsmen. And we'll do some more single pulls. Zeus that I pulled, um, you saw the... If you saw the previous video, has been nice. Um, he helps in Vapor Dreamland. He is a hardcore nuker. And he definitely... Uh, yeah, he's a nice, nice five, five star they give you, just for you know filling out the archives. Very useful. He has an AOE nuke that sleeps people, so it nukes them and then sleeps them. It's like, yeah, that's very useful. All right, card on, boy. Six more, and then we'll do the last ten pull, and then we'll go on to light dark scrolls. Well, scrolls or chips. Hydra, and I think I'm short. I'm gonna have to put stuff in storage. We got we got something gold and an Una. Una, 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 Una. Na, na. We'll just do that now because I know it's gonna have to happen. New Abyss Lord. One hundred five fifteen. It is not enough. That is enough. All right. All righty. Four more. Do a last ten pull, and then we'll do our light darks. Hydra. More Harpy. One more, then a last ten pole, and then light darks. Light darks, however, we're just hoping for anything new. Four star, five star, I have all of the three stars. Alright, ten pole. Shaman, do it. Huh. And 
that is definitely not a shaman. I think we're on pace for average. All right, so we got some light and darks here. We got six of them. We're just looking for anything new. Come on, show me some gold. Show me some gold, baby. That is not gold. All right, come on. You got another shot? Gold me. One more time. Gold me. We got gold. We got gold. It's something new. It's my first five-star light dark unit. We got Mikhail. That is awesome. Yes. Rock and roll. There it is what I'm hoping for. That is nice. I don't know what he does. He will be my next six star. That is awesome. That just rules. Thank you, Calibria gods. Yes. That rocks. I will go over him at the end of the video. We'll get through, through with the summons. You guys can uh, go back to your life. But I am so happy. That is awesome. We got four more summons. Another gold would be awesome. Probably not going to get it. I don't care. Oh, that rocks. Wow. Boxer Muay. I have heard of 35. I haven't six starter yet, but that'll be a skill up or a sanctify. This one and then two more. <coughs> Another Alice. That's not a, not an issue. We have her. We got two more. Give me gold one more time. Any gold. Come on. Do it. Gold. We got another gold. Yes. We got Hattori. <laughs> what a summoning session. Awesome. 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 I love it. So happy. I'm so happy. So, so happy. So, we have a new five-star light unit. We have a new four-star dark unit. It's so good. I like it so much. All right, we got one more. Do it, do it to us. Just R and Jesus us. Hit us with a another four or five star. Come on, come on, light dark. Do it to me. Come on. Gold. That's nah, it's. Well, it's Ripper. That is all right. This was an insane, insane summoning session. Two five stars. We got the four star dark unit. We got uh, Abyss Lord, and we did get Mikhail. Let's go check out Mikhail and also Hattori's skills and just see what they are. Uh, oh, yeah. So excited. There's Hattori. Lock him. Mikhail, lock him. And Demonic Swordsman. What does he do? Alright. Uh, wield the Golden Sword to attack an enemy to deal 370% of attack and damage after attacking. Grant a shield with 15% of own max HP to ally with the lowest percent of hit points for two turns. That That's on attack one. Two. Flat powerful wings and charge towards an enemy to deal 335% of attack and damage. 85% chance to taunt the target for two turns. Restore 15% of all allies HP for the next two turns. So, attack them and then hit, hit point regen for all allies for two turns after he attacks for 335% of damage. That's pretty nice. His other option, Eternity Blade. Attack an enemy to deal 285% of attack and damage. 85% chance to disable target's passive skills for two turns. After attacking, increase all allies' crit rate for three turns. So attack, make them not able to use their passives, and then uh, crit buff everybody for three turns. And it's only a four turn cooldown, which you can get down to three. Yeah, that's epic. Shattered Light Bait Light Blade. Execute final judgment in the name of God to attack all enemies. 
Deal 350% of damage in attack to all enemies. 50% chance to target, to silence targets for one turn. After attacking, reduce all allies' school down, or, reduce all allies' skill cooldowns by one turn, excluding this skill. If none of allies' skills have a cooldown, restore 30% of energy. So it's like Harpies, where if uh, Harpy, every time she goes with her third skill, she reduces everyone's skill cooldown by three or by one turn. But if if all your skills are available, and he does this skill, you get 30% energy instead of reducing a cooldown. So that's pretty epic for, well, it's, I know it's epic for Vapor Dreamland. It could be really powerful in a lot of places. And you can get that to a four turn cooldown. And... Um, you can get up to 70% chance. So, it's not every time, but 70, you can get it up to 70% of the time it will happen. Alright, we have Lotus Bash. Call forth holy flames within the blade to create a storm of lotuses. Attack all enemies to deal 270% of attack and damage. 80% chance to reduce the target's attack for three turns. After attacking, increase all allies' defense for three turns. So, you do attack break on the enemies and defense buff on all allies. And you can get that to 100% crit rate, or 100% rate. And it's every four turns. So, that's almost 100% chance that it's going to be up all the time for Lotus Bash. Which is nice. And then we have Passive Divine Revelation. I represent God's will. When attacking no non-boss enemies, 70% chance to increase the target's skill cooldowns by 2%. And you can get that to 100%. And that's a passive. So that means when you're using this, Basically, if you're using this <coughs> for, say, Arena, you can pick something. You have this on. You can just increase their skill cooldowns by two. So, that's rather powerful. <laughs> and then, um, all allies speed, 35%. So that crushes, like, Enchantress or the Druid, 24%. Yeah, so he is hardcore epic. Just thank you, Aaron Jesus. Thank you to the Calibria Gods. Rock and roll. We're going to build them. We're going to build them right now. That is going to be it for this one, guys. You will see a lot more content about Mikhail. And, uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by the Man Cave. Thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Please remember to like and sub, and we will, we will, we will do more videos. Have a good one.